What's up guys, I'm Rasim from RossmerTech.com and this is another tutorial in assembly programming. Now in this class I'm going to talk about the CPU status flags and how arithmetic operations affect them. So let's get started. First I'm going to open up my web browser. I have a wiki answers page open here. This I found was the best description of the status flag. I'm going to leave a link to this uh, URL in my description if you guys are interested. But the first flag we're going to talk about is the carry flag or CF. This flag is set to 1 when there is an unsigned overflow. I'm going to give you guys an example of an unsigned overflow. Let's say we're working with 8 bits, right? To overflow all 8 bits, right? Let's say we have 8 1 bits first. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, right? So this is basically 2, 5, 5. To overflow this here, we would have to add another one to make it 2, 5, 6. And that would uh, activate the overflow flag. So we, let's test it out right now. I'm going to move into CL because CL is the 8-bit register. 254. I'm sorry, 255 because we want to add one to overflow it. Then I'm going to add into CL 1. This should uh, make it 256 and this should overflow. So hit, let's hit emulate. Now let's open up the flags here so we can see how the flags are affected. Let's click on next step, then next step. And as you can see, that carry flag is set to 1 because it overflowed. Now let's talk about the next status flag. Let's close this up here. The next status flag is the priority flag. This flag is set to 1 when there is an even number of 1 bits, basically. All right, I'm going to give you guys an example of it down here. So let's say I add 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then the last two bits are 1. See, this has an even number of 1 bits, right? So this is the 1's place and this is the 2's place. So the, the answer... The arithmetic answer, if they, let's say it is a 3, then the priority flag is set. So let's test it out. Let's make this a 2 and keep this a 1. So the answer is 3, right? That will produce an even number of 1 bits in the, in the binary code. So let's hit emulate. Let's open up the flags again. Let's hit next step, next step. As you see, the priority flag is set to 1. Let's talk about the next flag. The next flag is the auxiliary flag. Now the auxiliary flag is set to one when there's an unsigned overflow of low nibble bits, right? So I'm going to ex explain to you what that is right now. Basically, let's say we have a group of eight bits. Let's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's add, make another uh, set of eight down here. So the way the auxiliary uh, flag is set to 1 is if there is a carryover from the 4th to the 5th bit. So this is the 4th bit right here. I'm sorry, this is the 4th bit here, right? Let's say we, we set this 1, we set this 1. If we were adding these two right here, right? If we were adding these two, there would be a carryover to this 5th bit here. So this is the 1's place, the 2's place, this is the 4th place, and this is the 8th place here. So we would have to add 8 with 8 to set the auxiliary flag. Let's test it out right now. Let's delete this right here. Let's add this to 8. Let's uh, turn that to 8. So we're moving to CL8 and we're adding 8 to it. So let's hit emulate. Let's open up the flags. Let's click on single step. Next step, as you can see, the auxiliary flag is set to 1. Pretty simple, right? Again, I'm going to do that one more time. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Because this can be confusing. I was confused in the beginning. So another 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We have 8 bits here. So the 4th to the 5th bit. So this is the 4th bit right here, right? To get a carry, uh, both uh, sets of uh, binary have to be 1, right? When you're adding. So 1, 1. 1 and 1 is 0 carry 1. We're carrying 1. So let's hit down here. So basically, one and one. Let's be. Let's move this over here. So one and one would be zero. Carry one. So this would be one, right? So that's how the auxiliary flag is set because we added eight and eight, which was in the fourth place and carried one over to the fifth place. Pretty simple if you think about it. All right, let's talk about the next status flag. Now let's close this here. 
the next status flag is zero flag or ZF. This flag is set to one when there is an unsigned, I'm sorry, the zero flag, this flag is set to one when the result is a zero. So really easy. Let's say zero and we add zero to it. We know the answer is gonna be zero. So let's hit emulate. Let's open up the flags, let's hit next step, then next step. As you can see, the zero flag is set to one because the answer is zero. Pretty cool, right? Let's talk about the next status flag. Let's close this here. The next status flag is signed flag. Uh, this is set to one when the result of, is negative, right? But if we have a negative answer, the signed flag will be set to one. So let's say we move, uh, let's say we make this a negative one, right? And we make this a negative two, right? It would be, it, this answer would be negative three, right? So let's hit emulate. Let's open up the flags. Let's hit next step, next step, and the sign flag is set to one because the answer is a negative answer. So let's talk about the next status flag. The next status flag and the last one I'm gonna talk about, I'm gonna skip these uh, three right here, is the overflow flag. Now the overflow flag is set to one when there is a signed overflow, a signed overflow. So meaning, let me just give you an example right here. So let's say, um, there is a number smaller than negative 3,000. I'll give you guys an example. Smaller than negative 32,768, right? And again, when working with negative numbers, we have to uh, work with 16-bit uh, registers like AX, CX, and so on and so forth. Let's say if the answer is smaller than 32,768, then the overflow flag will be set. So let's let's test it out right here. Let's make this uh, negative three, two, seven, six, eight, right? And let's hit, uh, the, we'll keep the negative two, that's fine. So let's delete this here. So let's hit emulate. Let's make this a one. I'm sorry, again, so I'm working with, uh, CL is an 8-bit register. We have to make this a 16-bit register. So let's make this CX. Let's turn this to CX. That's why we got that error. Again, you can make this a negative 2. That's fine. Let's clean this up a little bit. So let's hit emulate again. Now let's hit, uh, make sure the flags are open so we can see what's going on. Let's hit single step and single step. And the uh, overflow flag is set to 1. As easy as that. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Ristin from RossmoreTech.com, and thanks for watching.